Thanks to all of humanity's reader, joy, it's a pleasure, it's my honor as usual to be out here enjoying nature with you also, greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you, pointing you to look in order to discover that your real identity is your divinity. That is why I want to speak to you concerning freedom for all. And we know that Abdullah the mentor would have taught Neville Garden that Abdullah would have taught Neville what is true freedom and that true freedom can come only knowing your true identity and knowing your true identity in any culture that practice Christianity would be true Christianity. Anything outside of that is not true Christianity and it is keeping you away from looking inwardly and from discovering your true identity. That is why Abdullah used the law to teach Neville how he can create and how he can create consciously. Because if you can create consciously, it means you will understand that your creator is actually your imagination. And you will know that your imagination is within and not without. Therefore, my brother and my sisters, it is very, very important for you to understand what is true freedom. Many people are looking to freedom from the government. Many are looking for freedom from their religious ministers. Some are looking for freedom through the educational system. But the last place that a man will look for freedom is within himself. And that is why Abdullah was willing to teach Neville Goddard in the time of the Great Depression how to free himself. And so we see history always repeat itself. And here is a time again, just like it was, when Neville had no money and he had no work. But he had a word of surety from Abdullah. Because Abdullah was always living in the now. And Abdullah always speak in the now. And Abdullah put him in a place of affluence. Using his mind power. And so true freedom can only come when you understand the power of your mind. And you know exactly who you are. And you can use that power to achieve your every desire. Knowing that your duty here is to discover your purpose. And that purpose must always be to uplift humanity. It must always be to bring forth love and oneness to all of humanity. Knowing that there is no such a thing as a aristocracy, a hierarchy system, but that there is one universal consciousness and we are to use that consciousness to live a life of contentment. And that is why Abdullah was teaching Neville that this teaching, it is for all. Because freedom is for all. All of us has been chopped in a body and chopped in three dimensions. Time, space, matter. But all of us have this desire to go just a little further. And outside of this three dimensional realm will be the realm of the spirit. Our higher self. It will be into the world as spirit because we are spirit having a human experience. And that is why if you do not know your true identity, then there is no freedom for you. Doesn't matter how much you know intellectually. The most important thing in this world is for you to know who you are. 
Because you never know your power and able to use your power unless you know who you are. And everyone deserves to have this kind of freedom. Now, we, when we look around in the world today, we see a hierarchy system being put in place. But when you look more deeply and you look to things from the world of spirit, you see that we are one. You see there's only one universal consciousness. And you see that none of us are more powerful than the other because there's only one power. And we can use that power by way of fear or we can use that power by way of Love. And that is why that love that was shown to Neville by Abdullah, it freed Neville from all the bonds of limitation and false identification. And because it did that, Neville realized that the whole message is that there is freedom for all. And that you must learn to use that power in you, that creative power in you, to create your world how you want it to be. Then, and only then, you will be able to come into true Sabbath, true rest. Because it's only until you see your desire being fulfilled, and you can contact that which you once desired, that you couldn't contact by five senses. You can now contact it by the five senses. It is only when that has been fulfilled that you can come into peace. You can come into rest. You can come into Sabbath. And that is why each and every one of us have to learn to create until we come into that place of silence, that place of Sabbath, that place of rest. So it is in the silence you find a place of rest. Because he said God was speaking. There's a time you speak the word. And there's a time you must receive the word manifest in flesh. Which means it comes into the hard and objective fact that you can contact it by the five senses. So many people will quote that quote I just quote for you there. And believe that it is speaking of a man 2,000 years ago that became flesh. No. It is your wish being fulfilled. When your wish comes to pass. That which is your ideal. That which you so desire. When it becomes a fact. When it becomes objectified in this three-dimensional world. After you would have contacted the fourth dimensional world of spirit. And you would have taken your intention there. And take, take from the invisible substance. To bring something here that is visible. That you can reach out and be in touch or be in contact with it. So my brother and my sisters. It's only until you know. Who you are that you'll be able to operate in true faith and it's only when you operate in true faith which is having the true understanding of how to take something from the invisible world and manifest it in the visible world that is real faith and it's only by that by your works that you can display your faith so faith is not just words that's why action speak louder than words and results don't tell a lie so you have to let the results speak in your life by using the instrument or using the key that was given to you for your freedom so freedom depends on you you are the savior if you are hungry then you need food to save you you must fetch it for yourself if you are sick, then you need medicine. And when I say medicine, I'm speaking about you need healing. So I'm just using medicine for healing. Okay, so you need healing. 
That's where you become the healer. And when I speak of medicine, let your medicine be your thoughts. That is the real medicine. Because everything you see on the outside, you can find it on the inside. When you understand how the mind works. So my brother and my sisters, you are the one who have to fix yourself. You are the high priest. Everything that is speak, spoken of God is applicable to you. Because God and man are one. And that is how you discover your true freedom. When you embrace your God self, accept your God self and believe in your God self, that is when you will get true freedom. And that is why, my brother and my sisters, this message that was taught to Neville Gala by Abdullah, it is not a message to just chase after material things only, but it is a message for you to understand that real salvation is self-realization and that the most important thing to discover is your true identity and that would give you the power to use your ability, your creativity to achieve your every desire because you realize that you are here to serve. We are here to build and uplift each other. So my brother and my sisters, let us walk in unity, knowing that we are the ones who are responsible for our life. And what we use our time here to do. You can remain the same. Or you can use the opportunity of coming to discover this message. To lift you to a higher place. That you feel that you didn't just waste your life. But you had, your life had purpose. Your life had meaning. And you had the right concept of yourself. That is true freedom. So my brother and my sisters. To those who believe in secular Christianity and believe in a man 2,000 years ago. There is no one who could save you but yourself. There is no one who could heal you but yourself. If the body gets a cut, it heals for itself. Everything is in you. All things exist in the imagination. For that is God. For when the Bible speaks of God in man, it is speaking of man's imagination. For the eternal body of man is the imagination and that is God himself. There is no other God. You don't have no, no, no man in the sky. You have to free yourself from mental slavery. You got to free yourself by knowing your true identity. And you must hold to your divinity. And that is why you have to trust your imagination more than anyone. More than the news. More than anything else. More than anything else or anything anybody will say to you. You have to trust your imagination. You have to believe in yourself. You can't make nobody have a thought for you. No one can have a thought for you. You have to learn to think for yourself. Freedom lies in your hand. And slavery lies in your hand also. You can enslave yourself by the way you think. I can free yourself by the way you think. It's all mental, my brother and my sisters. It's all psychological. And that is what the main, that's the main thing Abdullah was wa wanted to get across to Neville. So that many people would escape the Jesus and Mary story that is keeping them in mental slavery. Because it, it has been interpreted to them as if it is literal. And as if it is secular history and having them looking outside of themselves when they're supposed to be looking within themselves for true freedom.
So my brother and my sisters, free yourself from all the false and fake news that is out there to bring fear on you. And look deep within yourself and vibrate higher. See yourself in a better place than you presently are right now. See it vivid through your imagination. If you can't do that and you can't get a clear picture of it, affirm it. Write it down and say it over and over. Say it before you go to bed. Say it when you wake up in the mornings. And guard your mind throughout the day and all speak positive things into your life. Because you're free. Accept your true freedom by walking in the light of your true freedom of knowing who you are. Because self-knowledge is power. My brother and my sisters, take back your power. Believe in who you are. Speak your life into existence how you want it to be. So my brother and my sisters, I just want to encourage you with that. Because this was the same kind of thing that Abdullah really shared with Neville and Neville shared shared with the, the, the world and the internet is wide open for anyone to get this kind of message and share this kind of message. That's why I'm encouraging you to share this message. Freedom for all. The only how you can be free is if you reject or refuse your freedom. Self-realization is true salvation. So, as I was saying, if what I'm saying, if it really makes sense to you and it's resonating with you i would like to say if you haven't subscribed already to subscribe to like to comment or to share this video but just before i leave i want to remind you this message i bring to you that it is the single eye message of self-realization of which matthew 6 22 says that if i be single your whole body be full of light and truly my brother and my sisters had it been that my whole body was filled with light when that single eye awakes within me i wouldn't have been here bringing this message to you for as i always say to you when you have that great and mighty experience you would experience the great and mighty shaking and you would hear that an earthly wind and you would ascend like a fiery being. You would come out of your skull. You would become invisible. You would be one with the wind. And you would tell your experience and realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. For it is the dawning of a new day in your life. And you would realize also that the Bible is the sun book. And that is why it says that the Lord thy God is a son and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you. In Psalms 84, 11, and common sense will teach you that the son has never withhold any good thing from you. For the son is what pours all of humanity and gives all of humanity its energy. Also, when you look closely, you will realize that the son parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the son. For without the son, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. Also, you're told in Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2 that the Son, as in the S-U-N, of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. And that is why when the Son has risen in me, I'm bringing healing to all of humanity. And point, to all of humanity sorry, I'm pointing each and every one to look inwardly. That's why I always encourage you to let your mind power create your every desire by understanding that your mind power is your sun power, your solar power, your God power, your creative power, which is actually sexual power. You must use that power to achieve your every desire and free yourself from all mental slavery. And that was the message that Abdullah was teaching to Neville Gala to teach to the rest of humanity. So with that being said, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.